European rabbits. So these jokers usually are brown slash beige. They weigh about two to five pounds, and on average they live about nine years. The scientific name is Orisotolagus sinuculus, and in French that's Lapin de Garin, in Spanish Conigio. As the name suggests, these rabbits hail from Europe. The European rabbit is highly adaptable, and currently they inhabit every continent but Asia and Antarctica. The people originally responsible for its expansion were the Romans. But through the Middle Ages, the rabbit kept spreading throughout Europe. It was brought to many islands by ship crews and re wreaked havoc on the island's small, limited ecosystems. But in a most devastating blow for a continent, the European rabbit was introduced in Australia in 1859 by a rich British landowner named Thomas Austin. He missed the hunt from back home in Britain, so he brought 24 rabbits and had them shipped to his estate in Australia. The dingo and Tasmanian wolf, Australia's native carnivores and potential rabbit consumers, were being kept in check by local sheep and cattle ranchers, so they were not effective at keeping rabbit populations down. The reason the population skyrocketed is because females become sexually mature at only three months of age, and unlike most mammals, ovulate whenever triggered by copulation rather than cyclically. Therefore, they can produce litters as much as six times a year, each litter ranging from three to eight young, after a gestation period of only 28 to 33 days. European rabbits compete with native wildlife, they damage animals and plants, and they degrade land. They ring bark trees and shrubs, and they also prevent the regeneration of the trees and shrubs by eating seeds and seedlings. Their impact often increases during drought and immediately after a fire, when food is harder to find and they eat whatever they can. Feral rabbits are believed to have caused the extinction of a few animals in Australia. They have killed off many ground-dwelling mammals of Australia's arid lands and have contributed to the decline in population of many animals and plants that call Australia home. For Australia to control a population of the European rabbits, they must use several different methods. Any one technique used by itself is much less effective than using two or more techniques being used together. When you rely on only one technique and you do not follow it up with another technique, the accomplishments of the first technique are completely wiped out as the rabbits will readily recolonize in the absence of further control. Three examples of techniques can be described as involving biological, chemical, and mechanical as parts of a solution. Lately, biological control for European rabbits has been particularly effective. Biological controls include the myxoma virus, which causes the disease myxomatosis, which solely affects rabbits. Released in 1950, the myxomatosis virus initially killed over 90% of European rabbits that caught the disease. However, some of the European rabbits developed a resistance to the disease, making the pathogen a lot less effective. However, the myxomatosis disease still keeps populations to an average of 5% of the original population sizes in wetter areas and 25% in arid areas such as deserts. The other most commonly used biological control is the rabbit calvivirus disease, which has continually become more effective in wetter parts of the country rather than in drier regions. Australia currently has only one strain of calcivirus, which is relatively stable, and European rabbits are developing a form of genetic resistance to the calcivirus. Research is being undertaken by scientists in Australia to help identify new calcivirus strains that have a different genetic makeup to release in Australia. The most common chemical control used for rabbits is poison. Sodium fluoroxide 
a very effective toxin provides a high morality rate of up to 90%. Toxins like chloropicrine and carbon monoxide are most commonly used to kill rabbits while they are in their warrens. Destruction of warrens, which is where they usually sleep and dwell, in above ground harbors is the most widely used mechanical method for rabbit control. Warren ripping can be a cost effective and efficient method for quickly lowering and keeping down rabbit numbers. It is also usable for prohibiting the rabbits from coming back to live in the warren at a later time period. This is also very effective because it deprives rabbits of a safe place for breeding. Some less common ways of controlling rabbits are used, for, are, used are building fences, shooting the rabbits, trapping, and using explosives to destroy warrens. Researchers are looking for ways to improve traditional European rabbit control techniques and to ensure that control is applied in a strategic way that achieves the goal of substantially lowering the population of the rabbits for good. The researchers who study the European rabbits want to treat them with the utmost care so then they can try to avoid ways of killing them. Instead, they just want to force them to migrate out of a certain region. All right, so uh, I'm trying to get some extra credit here, and uh, see I set up a little bit of bait so we can get this rabbit. See him in my backyard. And uh, rabbits aren't picky eaters. We got some Cheetos, strawberries, pineapples, berries, you know, the works. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens. If you're watching this version of the project, it probably means uh, our trap didn't work. And I just posted this anyways to get the grade up. But I think I'm going to keep that that part in. So, uh, you know, I tried Mr. Alien to get uh, a rabbit in there. Partial credit, maybe, for trying. But, um, yeah, we got to get this project in.